Today I'm going to try something that I have never tried before, but that I've always wanted to. We're here at Jagged Aerial, Aerial Silks Fitness. Jagged Aerial Vertical Horizontal Orientation Fitness uh, Health Maximizers. We're here at Jagged Aerial Fitness. What is it? Jagged Vertical Dance Fitness. Thank you. Here. No, we got, we got that. <laughs> we got that good. Okay, good. So the main reason I want to do this is there. Are, the misconception about fitness is that you have to go to a gym, and I think that a lot of people avoid fitness because they think one way. And so we're going to show you today something that's fun. And I was racking my brain trying to think of my most limber, athletic female friend to do this with, and I thought of Josh Barnett. I have a lot of those characteristics. Yeah. I felt like I was a natural for this, born for it, you might say. Yeah. So it really isn't a surprise at all that I would be at the forefront of Katie's mind when it came to, uh, you know, things involving grace. That's why we're here. All right. I don't know what we're doing. It's like some Cirque du Soleil shit, though. It also sort of looks like we might be doing pole dancing. Uh, Did you bring your heels? Well, I mean, I tried to put that past behind me. Okay. All right. No judgments. First time, I assume. I try to avoid being in the air for fear of falling. <laughs> falling is definitely a worry in the air, but you guys will be fine, don't worry. We'll start low, and we'll get you higher. The first thing that we did after Josh took off his black jeans and a heavy metal t-shirt was stretch. You guys, the stretching was already hard. Like, that was a workout. My butt's already sore. Yeah. Use your hands. <laughs> Oh, we're just getting started. This is the easy part. Just, this is the easy <laughs> You guys, Josh is an amazing athlete and fighter. He could quite literally do things with his body that would render us all. You're in like great shape. Right? I'm in A shape. I'm excited to see what we can do with you. I reach back and grab if you can. Okay, if you can't, just stay here and press this. That being said, there are parts of his body <laughs> that are not very limber at all. Well, Josh, that, you're really flexible that way. You can get that. I have some flexibility. Far. Yeah. Well, I can kick people in the head. Well, right. Not everyone can say that. <laughs> Is there any world where these are used as a sex apparatus? <laughs> oh, yes. oh, I'm sure. Right? Yeah. yeah. Wait, why am I? Josh is like, this is surprisingly like my swing at home. <laughs> okay. The next thing that we did was some Peter Pan ballerina thing where you hoist yourself up with sheer will and determination and prance around in a circle and pose. Yep, yep, yep. And keep pushing your hands down to the wall. <laughs> A ballerina, I am not. Put your foot down when you're ready to step It is the, the epitome of grace and elegance. <laughs> the elegance of a gazelle. This is amazing. <laughs> Josh's was quite graceful, though, I, I must say. Good, you got it. Yep. Wait. Yep, you got it, you got it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's yeah. so nice! You did it! You did it! Yeah. <laughs> the elegance on your face Yes. Is yes. yes. The raised eyebrows are palpable. Yes. I bet that he takes that into the ring with him for his next fight. You like prance around the octagon and then pose very delicately. And then your opponent is so flummoxed that they come at you. And they don't see you come in. It's like ballerina jujitsu sort of shit. There was one part of this class that I was actually very comfortable with, and it's because of all of my Spartan race training. Nice work. Step on it and press it up. It's just like climbing a rope for a Spartan race. Who would have thunk it? Oh yeah? Uh -huh. Same way? Same, same exact way. Cool. It's called, it's called an S hook. Yes! Yeah. And then you're just gonna walk it down, like let it slide through your feet, and hands under hands come down. 
yeah. And now hands up high, and now slide your knee up, and wrap again. Behind, and step on it, behind. Good. Yep, there you go, that's it, good. Good, and then the other foot steps on top. Yep, and then hands up, and then bring your knees up higher, wrap again, step on it, press it up with your knees. Uh-huh, up, wrap. You're really good at that, look at that. No breaking problem, and then just walk your, walk your hands I down. wish the rope in a Spartan race felt this good coming down. She's gonna go upside down now, so we're gonna do a little tuck invert and get to our knees. A little one. This is what it looks like. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna get our knees on and uh -huh. hang, and we're gonna do some hand shake here. I made Josh go first. Age before beauty. And you go underneath, yep. And then bring your knees in. No. And get your legs underneath. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, Jessica's literally holding Josh's ass up. Good. Yep. God. Yep. Get him on there. Put your knees on there. Nice. Yay. Okay. Oh. Point your feet. This way or that way? Yeah, that way. Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay. Let go. Both hands. Point your feet all the way. All the way. Oh, that's. And then you want to squeeze your hamstrings and just do little heels to butt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Yep. Uh, it's very little. And then we're gonna go up to your hands, so sit back up and grab. Yep. And then we're gonna bring your knees to your chest, and then you're gonna come back where you can bend your knees and get your feet through. Oh, get it. Get it. Goddamn. One. <laughs> and then the other. Good. You're gonna go. Wow. Okay. And then you add it like an extra thing at the end. This is a good time to point out that Josh could still kill you with his pinky. When, I, when you were actually doing this, it looked easier than once you grab onto it, it becomes intimidating. Well, I mean, me and this hoop go way back. You just have to stand <laughs> up to it. Like, don't, don't let them bully you. Eventually, you, you might even become your best friend. Yeah. I'm here for <laughs> oh. moral support. Yay! Good job, that was great. Okay, <laughs> point I just went as fast as I could. So you can pretty much relax everything else. Just squeeze back here and pulse your heels to your butt. You're only using your hamstrings. Good. That was amazing. You just shot right up there. I, you, listen, speed. <laughs> if you go too slow, you've got to actually use your muscle. Good. Okay, now you're going to stay there and sit up and grab the hoop with your hands. And make sure your thumbs are under it. Good. And then you bring your knees to your chest, hips forward a little bit, get your feet through. Yeah, perfect. Great. That was really good. Yeah. And bring your knees to the outside of your shoulders and extend. And then you put your knees on. And then you're going to hang. Same thing. Then when you're ready, you're gonna take a big crunch, and then I'm gonna pull and chug, and press it down, and walk it inside. Here we go. Nice, <laughs> good, okay, stay there for a second. So keep your hips there, and then squeeze your shoulder blades together, and but keep this pipe. Let's find the counterbalance. That's better, good, perfect. And when you're ready, you can hook your knees on. Yep, bring them as close together as you can. Good job, and then when you're ready, you let go of your hands. Good. And then my goal is to like sit up and grab the sides of the hoop. I'm not gonna help you unless you need it. My hand is here. There you go. Good. And then we're gonna take, yep, walk it in. Nice, well that was easy. You really go on speed. You're the hand higher. Listen, <laughs> the longer it takes to do something, the more chance I have to. Keep holding on. Like, <laughs> you definitely don't want to sit on this without holding on. It's so scary. You gonna spin me? <laughs> yeah, look at this. Yeah, nice. We can try a spin too before we go. I present to you. <laughs> this is actually really fun. Good job. Now vomit. There is right. a piece of me that feels like I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> Maybe so. Yeah, this is kidding. sort of like how you feel on a boat. My emotion sickness went away after I started doing this because we got used to it. Yep. Are your thumbs under here? Yep, good job and coming down. Yay! Good job. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's so dizzy. <laughs> My whole body's going this way. <laughs> I don't know if you can if you go the other direction if it unwinds you, it. Yeah, you, you have to you can actually slam your heels into the ground a little bit. It helps bounce your inner gear so your equilibrium helps. Really? It helps to come back faster. It doesn't like solve the problem, it just helps. When you spin like that, it's like okay. motion sickness. Yes. Woo! Lift your crotch up more. <laughs> We're not done. Straighten your legs, bring them back down. Lift it up more, and then squeeze your shoulder blades together. Push your chest through your arms, and bring your feet down more if you can. I can't. Okay, all right, and then go to your knees. That's good, you're fine. All right, and when you're ready, let go. 
Good, point your toes if you can. Yes, and sit up and grab your thumbs facing you. Yep, and then slide them up more, pull and chug. You have to do it at the same time. <laughs> there you go. Yep, a little more. It was so interesting, the things that were easy for me versus Josh based on our sheer size and his muscle. One more, do another chug. Okay, now. Oh, you better just find a way. Okay, you gotta just chug all the way at the top. I've never seen a queen do that. There's a lot of firsts today, I love it. Ladies and love gentlemen. It. <laughs> this Christmas, our new ornament is featuring the war bringer. War master. War master. I bring war, but I'm He brings master. the war, he's the master. <laughs> but not without a oh. sense of taste. Well, we're gonna start the bidding. <laughs> How would you like to be the owner of one fine house trained war master? He comes with a lifetime supply of bourbon. We're gonna start that bidding. Yes. <laughs> Alcoholism comes for At $2,200. <laughs> That's it. For this new oh. ornament. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a start. It's, we're starting there. I'm assuming that all the ladies are gonna bid. Okay. And some men. Because look at that face. <laughs> I mean. Yep. I love this. Yes, <laughs> yeah, good. So I want to try teaching you guys how to spin, which it's gonna be a little difficult because you're so tall. We're gonna see if you can make it happen anyway. Pull up with your arms and pull your belly button in. See if you can hold this. Oh. If you arch your back at all, you'll start orbiting. So you're gonna end up orbiting. Yeah, orbiting meaning like you're gonna make a wider circle. Oh wow, mm -hmm. I see. So we're trying so our goals to so steady. So you yeah. want to be the planet, not the moon. You want to be the sun. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. That works too. Well, I think yeah. I want to be the sun and not the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some other yes. analogies you can go with. Yes, basically. How are you planning on keeping this pointed, Josh? Um, are you going to go with the out or are you going to go with the in? I'm probably going to uh, have in my mind this image of like Baryshnikov. Okay. And then just basically be a discarded can of dog food. Smart uh, choice. Smart choice. Yeah. Smart choice. Yeah. Okay. okay. And be a can opener. Mm -hmm. You're the can opener, maybe. Yeah. As you twist. Yeah. yeah. Whatever, it's there somewhere. <laughs> yep. Yep. And lift. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, you did it. You did it. Yeah. And then lift it to your it's shadow. So go, go, ah. go. Oh, yeah. It was so good. Took me by surprise. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to just fly off. You <laughs> have the grace of good in your face down. Well, it's yeah. also hard because you're really tall for this like height, but. All you did a good spin though. You were holding it and you continued to go. You were in orbit. That's, that's, it's all in orbit. You were in orbit. You were in orbit. Yes, definitely more, more, of a more of a moon type person. <laughs> and pull up. Yep, yep, yep. And then go. Go, go, go. Yeah. I guess you need up there. Spin, step up, spin. Yes. Spin. Uh huh. Uh huh. In hanging, and yes, and squeeze. Yep, good, nice. And then fly in there, and hands up to the top. There you yeah. go. <laughs> Yay, good job. Wow, I'm dizzy. I'm super impressed. Do you want me to stop you? No. <laughs> Send me the other way. <laughs> This is a really interesting class. Like, so what of what we did today would you do with a beginner person who like doesn't work out? I wouldn't do all of that for sure. Right. A lot of the stuff I gave you guys was just because I could tell you're more fun. skilled. Smell it on us, huh? Yeah. Well, I could see it. When we walk. I didn't have to smell you. I could just look at you. Well, I, probably be, smell I you used deodorant too. and everything. It would be really <laughs> weird if you smelled everyone on the way in. I, know, I, I think I smell lovely. You yeah. do. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, a lot of the stuff you guys did was a little bit more at, 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 like intermediate, I would say. Yeah. But there's no getting around having to go upside down. Like, you just have to. Uh, one day, you're just going to all of a sudden go upside down because all the trying has created. Right. That muscle build just it's like almost like a, a way of fooling someone into strength training. Like there's tons of strength training aspects, and it's like as far as your entire upper body, and with a, with an element of balance and flexibility. So this would be great for people that want to have strength in a casual sense. I mean, you, you will get quite strong, and also mm -hmm. increases grip strength. Which right. is incredibly important. Uh, but the other thing is, is that you know, there's a functionality in a real world sense to this kind of working out. Because I mean, how many movies have we seen where people are hanging on clips? It's true. You know, you gotta hang on clips, you gotta climb ropes, daily. Uh, get up uh, 
grappling hooks and yeah. the whole nine. It does take a lot of strength. Uh, I have a little bit of that. Um, it takes flexibility, which is even a little bit, quite a bit more difficult. Uh, coordination and balance. Yeah. But the one thing it didn't take was dignity, because I am <laughs> devoid of any such thing. So I was didn't able to. I could. I could muster through. Really? Yeah. I think my aerodynamic outfit helped too. You know? I think it did too. I think you went fast. I mean, yes. Yeah. It's one, it, this is a fun workout, but it's a good workout for people that don't want to feel like they're working out because it's fun. You didn't feel like you were working out? I mean, I felt like I was working out, <laughs> but I didn't feel like I was like lifting weights. You know, like some people just don't want to go to the gym because they don't like it. They find I wanted boring. to feel like I wasn't lifting weights, but all my heavy ass body said otherwise. <laughs> yeah. There's something very like childlike about this though that's really fun. Like if you enjoyed playing on the playground as a kid. Yeah. This would be really fun for those people. Yeah, someone who's very immature, I'll, I enjoyed it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Why is it that at the very end of class, I finally see all of the stripper poles, for lack of a better word, on the ceiling? Can we do that next season? I'll book that right now. But like, can, can we do it? Like, both of us. Oh. <laughs> Do you think the thing makes Do a 13 meal? Because I will math Matthew McConaughey the shit out of that. That was fun. Yeah, good job, you guys. That I was a lot of seriously fun. Seriously impressed. Like, not that many people get all that stuff on the first day. I expected there to be more failure, to be honest. So that's it, guys. Go give a new type of fitness a try today and see if you like it. I just want to thank Jessica from Jagged Vertical Dance Fitness for having us. And of course, to my amazing friend Josh Barnett for letting me do this to him and being such a good sport. And if you guys like to let loose and have fun, Josh just released his new Warbringer Bourbon. Check it out at warbringerbourbon.com. Now go follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out on next week's episode. Bye!